Every day, we encounter products whose job it is to deliver chemical processes, everything from foaming sunscreens to the precision delivery of drop size and colour found in your desktop printer. Often, the most successful products are the results of a step change in how formulations are processed, delivered or dispensed, be they liquid, powders, gases or solids. Take microencapsulation. Microcapsules can be found in everything from the long-lasting fragrance in your laundry to slow-release chemicals in biodegradable shells for agriculture. Classically, these are manufactured in bulk. We asked the question, how could you do this differently? So we assembled a team of physicists, engineers and chemists to take a fresh look at the process, and they came up with a new approach to produce microcapsules on demand. Microcapsules are tiny spheres which have a delicate payload held within a protective shell. The process of making microcapsules generally involves two steps. First make the tiny droplets of your payload, then form a protective shell around them. Our Vortic device gives us a controllable high shear force which allows us to very easily form an oil and water emulsion on demand. The tiny droplets of oil in this emulsion are used to carry the payload, which may be a fragrance, a nutrient or even a time-release pesticide, together with a reactive monomer. To form the shell we use a process called interfacial polymerization, where we use a second Vortic chamber to introduce another reactive monomer into the aqueous phase. The only place that the monomers can react together to form the shell is on the outer surface of the oil droplets. This means that our polymer will form a protective shell around our delicate oil-borne payload and keep it safe until it needs to be released. The resulting microcapsules can find applications across a wide range of markets, from preventing nutraceuticals from oxidising to protecting volatile oils in food flavourings to producing personalised fragrances for your fabric conditioners. This is just one example of how our use of science-led innovation can often lead to new ways of doing things, breakthrough solutions that can lead to better processes and better products.